let me look up some of those scary headlines in the in a newspaper and tell you what I think of them. This is just what I think of them. This isn't this isn't don't take what I'm saying as gospel. Um but this is just what I think. Yes, I do agree. The primary schools being closed may cause a significant learning gap. Um I agree with that. I'm a year eleven pupil by the way. Um Maybe yes. Maybe. Or maybe no. No for me personally is a case of nope. Possibly. Possibly yes. Once again Yes, I agree. Um with that I agree with that. Completely disagree with that. I completely agree with that one actually. Um the it was like being in prison what was the other rising school exclusions. Well, I've been excluded from school twice. Yeah. Three times, four times. And it was nothing like being in prison. Let's see why they say it's like being in prison. See if I can let's say give my take on it. Um but anyway, this is just my two cents on it. Nothing you I agree. I agree. Do I agree with this? Yes. Yes. I certainly do. Agree. I must agree that if we stopped excluding children from school, you will notice complaints as to drugs and antisocial behaviour will start doing that. Going way down. Um, going way down. Hmm. I don't quite agree, but I agree with this headline. I agree. You know what? Well done to Advocacy Academy. Well done to them, I must say. Yep. But, to be fair, I think personally, changing schools to academies has made them quicker to exclude.
I think personally, what's that? Ugh, that noise gives it if I can work out what it is. Yes. Logic, anybody? I'm sure if I sound like I'm reacting to this news, but I mean, wow, wow. I agree with that. I agree. What I am also going to say is PIUs can and are basically educational dumping grounds. They are basically educational dumping grounds. I know what I've just said there is highly charged. I know. But it's what I believe. And do I think coronavirus is just going to make this worse? Never thought about that, but yes. Corona is just going to make it worse. I understand the excellent work that people with thermal units do, but what I don't understand is the fact that I think off rolling is worse than exclusion personally they're just my two cents on it again um i keep giving you my two cents on all of this but my reaction yeah british asian black british percentage attending a school in a leaf uh, I think academising has made exclusion more common instead of less common. I would actually like to see it finishing with a What do we do? As a nation, what do we do with these forgotten children? What do we do as a nation? I 
I am not sure what we do with these with these forgotten children. I really don't know what we're going to do with them. However, I would say don't find the police more. If I had to give the Conservative Party any bit of my two cents, I would say don't find the police service more. What we need to do is make interventions in people's lives to prevent them from being arrested instead of making interventions in people's lives too late. Um, so if I'm just giving you my two cents on this news, but what do we do as a nation? Yep. What do we do as a nation? Um, can a nation consider itself civilised if there are homeless veterans? Can a nation consider itself civilised if there are homeless veterans? Personally, I don't think so. Can a nation consider itself civilised if 10,000 pupils disappear at a critical stage from English schools? I don't think so. Can a nation consider itself civilised if people are facing violence just for going to work? I don't think so. Can a nation consider itself civilised? I saw if I was saying civilised. Civilised, 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 civilised. But they, can a nation consider itself civilised if there's a lot of violence in the classroom? No. No. Can a nation consider itself civilised if if people face violence just for going to work? Not sure. Can a nation consider itself civilised if if people That's incredible. But I must say, nations, I accept that there are problems. I accept that there are problems with systems. I accept that there are problems in our education system. But what I do not accept is all of this. Because all of this system, can a nation consider itself civilised if is they putting more police? What we need to do is put police officers on site. Can we? Can we consider ourselves civilized? I do not think so. I really do not think we can, as a nation. I mean. Whenever we have a number of people homeless in the UK on the rise, and whenever we've got the number of people in the UK who are victims of domestic abuse, no. Would I want the state to take a bigger role? No. I want things to be privatised. Only privatisation can sort out the problems. Only privatisation can sort out the problems. Understood? Only privatisation can sort out the problems that come with being a state. Do I think metal detectors will resolve this issue? No. I think what we need is people who actually know about security, 
we need people who know how to use the equipment and also what we need basically people who are being assisted by the equipment to do their jobs properly we don't need and i'm sorry to say this but this is what i've known my personal experience is we've had people who don't know what they're doing followed by a healthy serving of people who know what they're doing but who just don't care followed by a healthy serving of people who don't know what they're doing and do not care Anyway, I must agree, but um, yes, Can a nation consider itself civilised whenever, instead of, I think it would save so much money with things like the National Health Service if, if the nation really did agree. I think that the nation would um, be better fin off financially if people actually were taught not to be violent. We pay for it through the National Health Service. We pay for the exclusion rate through the National Health Service. Done.